previously on episode six. But ain't no way. They got me running a slant route. Oh! <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Cam back with another video. In today's video, we will be playing a two and four Louisiana Monroe Warhawks. As y'all know, last game, it did not go too well for us, and we got defeated by Texas State. We played bad throughout the whole game. We are still at the top of our conference, standing 3-1. Louisiana leads the other side of the conference at 4-0, so today is a must-win for us. Before we get into the video, I just want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to y'all. Wish y'all safe travels if y'all traveling somewhere, and hope y'all have a good Christmas or whatever y'all will be celebrating. I want to say thank y'all for getting one of my goals. We got the 1K on Twitch. I just want to say thank y'all for that, and if y'all ever want to see me stream, make sure y'all go check me out on Twitch. And as always, if y'all enjoying this series, make sure y'all hit that sub, like, and comment button, and let me know if there's any videos you want to see in the future. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. So it looks like we have a running back and our left tackle back, so we'll move back to guard. We got a little inside zone first play. Got a nice little block on the linebacker, tuck with the first down. Next play, we got a little counter. Y'all already know how we get. We ain't get no yards, but that was a great block. Not gonna lie, we kind of got bull rush right here, but Darian was able to get it off in time to Terrence Dixon on the post route. Great catch and a great run. To all my young Olami, y'all take notes right here. This was great odds by me in the center. We was able to pick that up. We get the check down to Marcus Carroll. Bow! Run him over, great run. We are now in the red zone after that pass. Got a little inside zone right here. I can't get all of them, we just got outnumbered. I was able to get his nose guard down, Tuck's finding a good opening, and we able to get a couple yards. The surprise this wasn't an interception. I do not know how Darian did this, but he throws it off his back foot and was able to put our first push up on the board. We decided to do a little counter right here, get two great blocks. Let's go, Tuck. Let's go, Tuck. Great run by Tucker Gray right there. First down. I was able to get his nose guard down to the ground again. Tuck hits the hole right behind me, gets another great run and another first down. Going into this game, I knew they had two star DNs. He was able to break the double team right here and get the first Bruh. sack of the game. Second and 16, everybody know we was throwing the ball. They're in the size of scramble. I'm with them, couldn't get both of them, but we was able to get great yards. Third and six, this is a great pickup by me and the running back right here. We decided to go deep on this play, but he drops the ball. Glad he didn't intercept that. Had a 41 yard field goal and we ended up taking our three. To all my young Olama right here, this is a great job by me beating up to the spot I know who's going to be at. We have to hold on to that though. He misses the tackle anyway, but we get the first down. We got a little screen pass right here, getting close to the red zone. This play ended up getting blown up. Ball is blocked to the whistle. You will limit cannot stop us today on the offense. We got a little curl right, right here. Jamari Thrash breaks a little tackle, gets some yards, and gets out of bounds. Hold on, y'all thought we was done yet? Nah, give me them ankles. Play dig end up getting blown up though. Coach decides to pass the ball right here instead of the run. We was able to connect with Aubrey Payne, but did not end up getting the first. Man, this play right here, I don't know what happened. Ran into my own quarterback, man. 3rd and 10, we need to get this. I see the linebacker coming. We was able to pick him up. We connect with Aubrey Payne, get off him. ULM had a long deep ball and was able to get some points up on the board. So we decided to do the opposite. We was able to take the lead, 13-7, going into halftime. Coach decided to run the counter, coming straight out of halftime. He did not fall for the block this time, but we was able to get yards, and we had a great run. This is a great double team right here by me in the center, and a great block by a left tackle. Tucker Gregg was able to get another first down. As y'all know, we've been struggling with passing all day. We wasn't able to get anything here. Darren was able to find his way up the middle and get a couple of yards before stumbling. Had a little hour right here to Robert Lewis with the catch. Great first down. They've been pulling me all day. I told them I'm not tired yet. Come here. Tucker Gray finds his way up the middle again and gets second in inches. ULM has not been stopping the run all day. Greg finds his way up the middle for another touchdown. Just want to say shout out to my defense too for holding them to seven points. We find our tight end right here, Aubrey Payne. Gets up the field, breaks some tackles. Let's go. So we go back to the screen pass again. It still wasn't what we wanted, but we was able to get great blocks and a couple of good yards. Very next play, we had a deal on no clips and we was able to find Robert Lewis wide open. We was back in the red zone once again, had a little HB draw right here. He was too worried about my block. We was able to get some great yards. We was able to find Cradle right here for his first reception of the night. Even though I did end up putting his nose guard on his back once again, he did to show up the play. ULM did not give up yet. 
we thought things were going too good, and they end up getting the great hit right here on our tight end, and end up getting the ball back. But the very next play, they end up fumbling. We pass the ball to Jamari Thrash for another touchdown. And man, it looks like that will do it. We had a great game today after coming off to a horrible loss last week against Texas State. We now advance to 5-2 overall and 4-1 in the conference. It still gives us very high chances if we want to compete for the Sunbelt Championship. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure y'all hit that sub, like, and comment button. And let me know if y'all like this recap version better or live commentary. And thank you guys for tuning in.